There's another method for multiplying binomials that's sometimes called the vertical method, and it's called the vertical method because you line them up vertically, like this. I'm going to rewrite this problem. I'll write x plus 3 and x plus 8, and then I draw a line. And I'm going to be multiplying these, x plus 3 times x plus 8. And the procedure here is remarkably similar to the procedure for multiplying numbers, where the digits are lined up in columns like this. I'm going to start by multiplying 8 times 3, and that gives me 24. So I'll write that down there. And then I multiply 8 times x, and that gives me an 8x. And so I'll write it here like this, 8x plus the 24. Then I'll put a 0 down here as a placeholder. And then my next move is to multiply x times 3, and that gives me 3x and then I multiply x times x, and that gives me x squared, and I put that here. And then I draw a line, and I add these two rows. So 24 and 0 gives me 24, and the 8x and 3x gives me 11x, and I put a plus sign there, and then the x squared here, and I put a plus sign, and that's my answer, x squared plus 11x plus 24. Now once again, the main idea in multiplying binomials is that each term in one binomial gets multiplied by each term in the other. And the vertical method is just another way to systematically accomplish that. I'll do another example. Here we have a plus 4 times a plus 5. So I'll write a plus 4 and a plus 5 and draw a line. And I start 5 times 4 and that's 20 and then I'll do 5 times a, and that's obviously 5a. I need to add those terms. And then I put a 0 down here as a placeholder, and I have a times 4. So I'll write 4a there and put a plus sign. And then I have a times a, and that's a squared. And then I'll draw a line and I'll add these. 20 plus 0 is 20. 4a plus 5a is 9a, and then I have my a squared out here. So that's my answer, a squared plus 9a plus 20. And we'll say a few things about multiplying a binomial by a trinomial. And that's what we see in this example, a binomial here with two terms multiplied by a trinomial with three terms. Now we can't do a FOIL here. The FOIL method only works for two binomials. But the main concept still applies here. And the main concept is that we multiply each term in one of these by each term in the other. So the x will need to get multiplied by this, this, and this. And then the 3 will need to get multiplied by this, this, and this. And if you're systematic about it, you can keep it organized and do this pretty efficiently. So let's work this out. I'm going to start by multiplying the x by each of these three terms. So it's going to be x times 2x squared plus x times negative 4x plus x times 5. And then I'm going to multiply the 3 times each of those terms. So I'll say plus 3 times 2x squared plus 3 times negative 4x plus 3 times 5. And I'll simplify each of those terms and then combine like terms. So over here, x times 2x squared is 2x cubed. And then I have an x times a negative 4x. That's going to be minus 4x squared. And then this is a plus 5x. And right here I have a 6x squared. And here I have a negative 12x. And then the 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, let's uh, combine like terms. The 2x cubed is all by itself, so I'll just write 2x cubed. I have a negative 4x squared and a positive 6x squared, so that gives me a 
positive 2x squared. And then I have a 5x here and a negative 12x there. Those combine to give me a negative 7x. And then the 15 over here by himself, plus 15. So that's my answer. 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7x plus 15. And again, the way I got that was to multiply each term in one of these by each term in the other.